Alright guys, we're doing a little theory crafting here. Now, I love Invoke Dark Magician. I've played it a decent amount. Ask most of the people at my locals. I do like it. And Mr. Julifer9211 really likes it. I, I do too. It's a fairly strong deck. As you can see, I'm not playing Ref in this build because you don't need it in Invoke Dark Magician. Now, I want to make that clear. In Invoke Dark Magician, you do not need Red Eyes Fusion. In Pure, like the deck profile was, you do. Also, really quickly, I want to remind everybody to like the video down below and subscribe. 80 some percent of you guys are not. So, if we can try to lower that number, it would be great. But, in Pure, you do because you don't have cards like Invocation that can make Mechaba, which is a Pseudo Dragoon. You don't have as many extenders in Pure Dark Magician. You don't, your normal summon in Pure Dark Magician, being Magician's Rod, is not as good as Alistair. Alistair is what Magician's Rod wants to be. He recycles himself off Invocation and is a one-card Mecha Bud that recycles itself. Maybe one day Rod will be a one-card Dragoon that recycles itself. I would love for that to happen. But as of right now, it just doesn't do that. So, I want to get into some test hands and some combos and explore why we should consider playing an Invoked Engine in Dark Magician. Alright, so first combo. Play your copy of Meltdown. Add Alistair to your hand. Very, very basic so far. Generic invoke combo. Now, before you summon Alistair, activate your effect of Magician Souls. Send your copy of Mana. You can play DMG, but Mana is better in this build because it's an extender and you still get your draw too. Now, we do want to summon Souls here. You do not want to summon Mana. Summon Magician Souls. Now, normal summon your Alistair. Activate the effect on summon to grab yourself invocation. You're going to link Alistair off, just like a regular invoked combo. Very similar to just invoked so far, just you're using Magician Souls. Summon Artemis. Activate your effect on Magician Souls. Send Meltdown. And that is it. You're not sending invocation. Draw your card. Now, it's kind of good that we drew Dark Magician here. Not for combo relevance, only because it can show that you're not always going to draw into something good. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to link in the Crowley, which is just Alistair with different art. Now, you're going to activate the effect of Crowley, and you're going to reveal your spellbook cards. Now, this could be Blue Boy. I mess around with it. The reason I'm not on Blue Boy, I'll go into very quickly, is that if we have to hard play any of these these all do something right and so does blue boy but if i normal blue boy search knowledge or secrets and i draw if i draw on the alistair or rod what do i what do i do from there like i have no summonable monsters um if i have like a subpar hand he's fine but at least this can stack the top three cards of your deck and put them in whatever order you want and we draw so much in this build it doesn't really matter now, hopefully, we get knowledge or secrets here. Uh, I guess I get a select, so we're going to get knowledge. Now, you're going to activate knowledge, tribute Crowley, draw two. Now, these three cards could be anything. They could be hand traps. They could be other extenders. So, now you're going to activate your invocation. You're going to summon your Mechaba by banishing... The Alistair Engrave and the Artemis. Also, never summon Mechaba or Jagoon in this zone or this zone just in case they're playing Anima and you don't want to get punished. Now, activate your effective invocation in the grave, target the banished Alistair, add it back to hand, and you're going to shuffle your copy of invocation to the deck. Now, you went from two cards to four, they replaced themselves if you didn't get hand trapped. Which is still really good because it's worth it because you get to a boss monster. And you would still have three other cards in your hand. If you're going first. If you're going second, you have four. So now let's do a slightly different version of that combo. So now we're going to do the basic same combo line. Activate your copy of Meltdown. The only difference here is that we have Soul Serpent. Add Alistair. Basic so far. Now you're going to do the same cop 
same combo using Magician Souls. You're going to send your copy of Mana. Special Summon Souls. Now, if you want to bait out Ash, granted they already know you have Alistair, you could send these two early to draw two. But, for the purpose of the combo, we're going to normal summon Alistair. And you're going to get your copy of Invocation. Now you're going to activate the copy of Magician Souls, send Soul Servant, and Meltdown. And now you're going to draw into two copies of Dark Magician. It does not matter because, I mean, let's be honest here, these could be anything. Now, same play, Special Summon, your copy of Artemis, by linking off Alistair. Another thing that makes Mana better in the Invoke variant is that you can use it to make Mecha, but I don't know if I mentioned that earlier or not, but it is there if you have to. It's not optimal, but it is something you can do. Now we're going to do Crowley. Use your effect of Crowley to first prophecy here. Reveal your spellbook cards. Confirm. Pick the one you want. Which, usually, in a duel, you don't pick your opponent picks. Different names, and your opponent randomly picks one to add to your hand, but since we have no opponent, he gives it to me. Or lets me pick. On Dueling Book, uh, it randomly picks. Now you're going to pick that, send Crowley to the grave, and you're going to draw, in this case, two copies of Alistair. Now, activate your copy of Soul Servant from the grave to draw one. And you do have the potential to draw two, depending on what the rest cards in your hand are, plus that. And I'll show you that now. You involve more cards, though. So, real quick, that's that. Now, you do activate Invocation, and you make Mechabun. Showed that already. And anyway, next test hand. Alright, so now this is more of a four card combo. But you draw so much, it's not hard to get to the Maya. That being the purpose of this. Activate your copy of Magician Souls. Send Mana to the bin. Special Summon your copy of Magician Souls. Soul Servant's going to always want to chain on EDO Pro. Activate your copy. Of Magical Meltdown. And the reason why I'm using EDO Pro is just because it's easier to manipulate the hands. Personally, for simulators, I like DB or Omega. Normal Summon, your copy of Alistair. Use your effect of Alistair. Add Invocation. Activate Magician Souls. Send Meltdown and Soul Servant. Draw two. Now activate your copy of Tamias. Send DM to the bin. Special summon. Effect diffuse. Now if you now if you really want this to happen, the deck isn't shuffled, that being the reason why it's doing this. Why I keep drawing two Dark Magician anyway. Uh you just have to have another Dark Magician card. Rod, Illusion of Chaos, Soul Servant Circle. It doesn't matter. But now you can see we have our Dragoon. Now you're in Special Summon Artemis. This way you can go into your Mechaba. If Crowley was a Light, uh, I'd say just go straight for Crowley. But as of right now, we are not doing that. We're not going to negate it with Dragoon. We're going to reveal, 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 confirm. For shits and giggles, this time let's add secrets. Organization, you never really want to have, but it's not dead unlike Blue Boy. Like here, if we had organization, it was fine, because we're going to draw two, and then we can manipulate our draws. Not going to negate that. We're going to add our copy of knowledge off secrets. Now, your opponent could have also just gave you knowledge, which is honestly what you want. Now, we're going to activate. Knowledge. Tribute your copy of Crowley. Now you got two copies of Alistair. Activate your copy of Soul Servant in the grave. Banish a draw two. See, just showing that the draws won't always be that great. Also, because the deck isn't shuffled. Activate your copy invocation. Do not negate it with your goon. Summon Mechaba. Banish. Banish. Mechaba Dragoon. Very simple. Activate the effect of invocation. Target Alistair. 
And now, you have five cars in hand. You replaced the original four, and you got that. So you should have play shares, could be hand traps, and you should have an additional card from your opening hand. So now let's do completely random test hands. Alright, first test hand. Pretty good. So now we're going to activate uh, Salvation to set our copy of Eternal Soul. Deck fin a little bit. Now, Salvation is kind of dead, so we're going to activate Meltdown. Add Alistair to our hand. Use the copy of Magician Souls, just like I showed in the combos. Send Mana to your graveyard. And you're going to Special Summon Souls in defense. You could bait out Ash here and just go for the draw two instantly. But here, uh, because we're not playing against an opponent, I'm going to normal summon Alistair and add our copy of Invocation. Deck fin a little bit more. Now we're going to link Alistair off into Artemis. Now activate your copy of Magician Souls. If you draw a Spellbook card here, it's not still not bad. If you open Secrets or Knowledge, it's better, but you shouldn't be drawing them. Maybe we have two copies of Imperm. Imperm is not once per turn. Activate our copy of uh, Preparation of Rites at our Illusion of Chaos. Now we're going to Link Summon again. We do play in the Nibiru more, but Nibiru's not really super played this format. Activate your copy of Crowley. Reveal Knowledge, Secrets, and Organization. Confirm. Let's grab knowledge. Now, remember that you do not pick that. Your opponent picks it. They randomly pick. So you can do it with a die or however you, else you want to. Activate your copy of Spellbook of Knowledge. Tribute your Crowley off. And draw into two more cards. Now we have triple imperm, which isn't bad. But let's go ahead and we're going to set those. Imper I love the fact that imperm isn't once per turn. And now that we have this, it's kind of solid, actually. So now we have that. Now, the rest of the cards in this hand, it's not super great. Like, I would love to have, uh, like, well, let's see here. Let's activate our copy of Illusion of Chaos. Add Tamias to our hand. And we're going to put Meltdown back on the top of the deck. I'm going to try to get us Mecha Bud Dragoon here. Activate that. Summon your copy, copy of Mecha Bud by banishing your copy of Alistair in the Graveyard and Artemis. Get your Mecha Bud. Activate your effective invocation. Add Alistair back to your hand. Now we're going to banish Soul Servant and draw one because we don't have that many cards in the bin. And we didn't get it. But you can see how we could have ended on Mecha Bud Dragoon there, depending on what we drew. Next turn, we can summon Dragoon, definitely. And we have Eternal Soul, which we don't have a Dark Magician in the bin, which is unfortunate. Maybe I should have added that instead of trying to go for Mecha Bud Dragoon, but that's really not going to do anything because you know, we don't have Circle. We have three Imperm, that's three Interruptions there. We have Mechaba, which is an Interruption, and Ash, which is an Interruption. That is five Interruptions. Still pretty good. Anyway, next test hand. Alright, next test hand. Not bad. This does show that you won't always be able to resolve Crowley, which is something I did want to show. And we're going to activate our copy of Magician Souls. Send Mana. Special Summon Souls in Defense. Now, this deck can be bricky. Don't get me wrong. It can be. All decks will break inevitably. Now we're going to activate our copy of Magical Meltdown to get ourselves Alistair. You've seen this plenty of times by this point in the video. Add Alistair. Yeah. If you want, you can cut the hand traps that I'm playing for more like Floodgates or Extenders. I'm not doing that only because I feel like hand traps are just better than Floodgates right now. Link yourself in the Artemis. Now, there is no point in making Crowley now, because we have Knowledge. Now, we're going to activate our copy of Knowledge. Tribute Artemis, draw two. Now, that is actually sick. 
That right there is amazing. Now we're going to activate our copy of Circle and see what we can get. Even if Circle doesn't hit here, it's fine. Yep, that's what I wanted. And we're going to put Tamias. Uh, we can put Prep and then Meltdown. In that order, activate our copy of Magician Souls. Send Magical Meltdown and Soul Servant. Send them to the grave and we're going to draw these two. We're going to deck fin a little bit more. Because we're going to be able to draw two. Get our copy of Illusion and Chaos. Activate the effect of Tamias in the hand. You send our extra copy of Souls to the bin. You could send the Soul that's on field because he's kind of dead at this point. Activate the effect of Tamias. You summon Dragoon. There is Zap. We're going to activate our copy of Illusion of Chaos. To get our apprentice Illusion Magician so they can't swing over our Dragoon. Put Illusion of Chaos back on top of the deck. Activate your copy of Invocation. Which now you're going to summon Mechaba by doing Alistair and Artemis. Mechaba Dragoon is very strong. Very strong. I love it. And you're going to activate your copy of Invocation. Add back your Alistair and shuffle Invocation back into the deck. Activate your Soul Servant and you're going to draw two. And with this, we will set in permanent middle column, but it could be anything. And we got our Illusion of Chaos back for next turn. So now we have one, two, three interruptions. And we have Recursion for next turn. We have a You're Not Going to Swing Over Me. With Dra you're not going to swing over Dragoon. Mecha, but they can swing over, but they're not going to swing over Dragoon. You have Imperm to help slow down your stuff. You have three interruptions here. Now, let's say, for example, um, next turn, you don't have Alistair and you don't have uh, Illusion of Chaos. Now, unfortunately, we don't draw here, but what's the next card we're going to draw? Meltdown. You have Recursion even if you send Alistair. So we play Triple Alistair. So, the deck has a lot of Recursion if they do break this board, which we do lose the Super Poly here. But, you know what? Still not a bad board. I'll take that any day of the week. Now, third and final Test Hand. Alright. So, right here. Third and final Test Hand. We're going to activate our effect of Illusion of Chaos. As you can see, we don't have a way to Alistair just yet. We might later. But we're going to put that on top of the deck. Activate our copy of Salvation. Which will get us Eternal Soul. Right there. Now we're going to activate our copy of Magician Souls. Sending DM to the bin. Special Summon Dark Magician. And now the rest of this is the basic old school Tamias combo. But, since we already have Soul Servant, we're going to normal summon Rod, use Rod's effect to grab Circle. Now we're going to activate our copy of Dark Magical Circle. If it hits, cool. If not, which it most of the time won't, that's okay too. So it doesn't matter what word they go into. Because we're going to activate Soul Servant. We're going to Spanish and draw anyway. So we'll give us our copy of Demise to Unite a Dragon. Banish it and draw. Activate our effect of Demise. We're going to send... We're going to send Salvation because it's kind of dead. We can Now we can special summon Demise. We're going to link off our copy of Magician's Rod so we can recycle it. Now we're going to activate the effect of Tamias. For our good old copy of Dragoon. And now we have three interruptions. Because, well, it depends on when they do something if we have three interruptions. If they just hard play Brandon Fusion, obviously we're going to ask Shat. 
or we'll do Brand of Fusion Chain Link 1, uh, Ash Chain Link 2, and we're going to activate Eternal Soul to get us our copy of Rod, which will special DM. It's not going to banish anything. So Circle kind of fizzles, but then we're going to have Rod in hand for Dragoon. You could wait to do that, but I would rather just Ash. Now you could wait to do the Eternal Soul and Circle thing, but definitely don't wait to Ash. It's just hard to play Brand of Fusion. But either way, we have the potential of three, worst case, two interruptions. Not bad. And we have one card in hand, and what's our top deck? As you can see, without opening the invoked package with souls, we don't get to draw as much when we top deck souls over here, which is not bad. But if they break our board, we kind of just go game two. So, anyway, uh, that's it for the test hands. Well, that's it for the test hands. This is the list I'm thinking of playing right now. Organization could be Blue Boy if you want. I'm still messing with it. I'm not sold on it. But anyway, this is the list. As you can see, we can get our draw to turn one. I can actually draw a lot on turn one, which can be pretty busted. Um, the hand traps can be whatever you want. You could honestly play more hand traps if you cut like Salvation and Secrets. Those cards are okay, but you could honestly just play like two Veiler, two Ghost Ogre, whatever you want. You could play uh, DMG over Mana if you want to utilize Secrets and the Dark Magicians more for the float effect, but honestly, it just doesn't come up a super large amount. And if you're making the Dark Magicians off that anyway, you're fricked most of the time, and you're probably going to lose that game anyway. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this, and peace.